Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then my name's Katie. And if you are not new, then welcome back. I'm actually really excited to film this video. I know I say that in like every single video, but I'm really excited to film this video because I said I was gonna film this video like, I don't know, two months ago, maybe? Two months ago. Today I'm filming the Rosé inspired makeup look. I got a backdrop and everything. There's a disco ball above my head. I don't know if you guys saw that. I don't know if I love the backdrop or I hate the backdrop, but all that I do know is that the backdrop's gonna stay there because I took it out of the package and I spent 20 minutes steaming it and it still, still has some wrinkles in it, but I tried really hard. I really tried. Don't think I don't try for you because I try for you, okay? Did you ever try to fold a piece of paper so many times just to see how many times you could fold it? Well, I think that whoever packaged this backdrop, they were doing that challenge. They were like, I'm gonna see how many times I could fold this particular backdrop and put it in this package and send it off so that the person that receives it hates their life. So we are going to be doing a rosé inspired makeup look, but we're gonna be drinking wine. Well, I'm gonna be drinking wine. I highly suggest that if you're of a legal drinking age that you should drink wine while I am, so we're not drinking alone. If you're not of a legal drinking age, it's totally fine. Enjoy your youth because when you're my age, you're gonna wanna pound your head into a wall. So don't take it for granted, okay? I'm extra excited to film this video because these are some of my favorite videos to film because I am partnering with Bright Sellers in today's video. You guys know how much I love Bright Sellers. I've talked about them before many a times on my channel, but maybe this is your first time here or maybe you have never heard of me talk about Bright Sellers before, so I'm going to let you guys know a little bit about them and then we will get to the fun part and open the box. Wine and I have a very, very healthy and loving relationship, but I will say that before signing up with Bright Sellers, I really only dabbled in just like a couple different types of wines. I really liked Friesling, maybe a Sauvignon Blanc, maybe a Rosé every once in a while. But the reason why I love Bright Sellers is because they send me wines that I love, but then they send me wines that they think I'm going to love, and then I end up loving them. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I'm not sure yet, but for now, I think it's great. Now how they find out what wines they think I will love is basically all you have to do is go on the website, okay? You take a seven minute quiz, seven minute, no. You take a seven question quiz. <laughs> they will source these wines from all over the world and they are custom curated for your specific palette and they will ship them directly to your doorstep, your office, wherever you want it to go. Really useful right now, okay? Because like, come on. You know why. I know especially for me, I definitely get in my moods where I'm kind of just bummed out about the state of the world. And I will say that one thing that really excites me is getting packages and especially this package. Like I always look forward to it. So when it comes every month, I'm like, oh my gosh, Christmas. But I always wait to open it on camera with you guys. So if you are interested in trying Bright Sellers for yourself, all you have to do is click the link in the description box below and start taking your seven question quiz. And then you will receive 50% off your first six bottle box. And the best part is, is they are guaranteed for you to like. So if for whatever reason you don't like a particular bottle, all you have to do is contact their amazing concierge team and they will actually ship you a replacement bottle in your next box. Oh, this is pretty heavy. Okay, so I have my box right here. I have not opened it up yet. You know, I was just thinking, didn't really think this one through, but um, this is a rosé inspired makeup look and let's just hope to God that there's a bottle of rosé in here. I feel like it would just break my heart a little bit if I didn't drink rosé while I was doing a rosé inspired makeup look. So if Bright Sellers knows me at all, there will be a bottle of rosé in this box. Because when I filled out my ratings, I said that I really, really liked the rosé and to send me more bottles like that. So hopefully, just a quick little prayer, there's a bottle of rosé in this box. So this is what it looks like. So in every box you get these little cards and they match up with every bottle of wine that you have and they're really cute because it tells you like what they pair with and the notes and where it's from. All the information that you need to know which I think is pretty cool because you're learning, you're drinking, just fun. In this particular box I have an Avast Central Coast White Blend. I have a Jetford Cabernet Sauvignon. I have 
Not a rosé yet, I'm getting scared. <laughs> I have a Dreamlit, what are you? I don't know what this is, but it says it has a vivid notes of lychee, pineapple, and rose petal. So like, I'm into this. Next we have, oh! Yes. We're golden people. We're golden. We have a Mendoc, Men, Men, Mendocino? I think it's Mendocino. Petal Press Rosé of Savion. Okay, that is that is not Savion. Rosé of Savonis. Okay, you know what? I'm trying. We have, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is a mess. We have a Silver Skate Savion Blanc. And then lastly, we have another rosé, and this is the, I think I had this one before. Yeah, I did. This is actually the first bottle of wine I ever drank when I filmed my first sponsor with them, so that's pretty nostalgic. I'm almost positive. Fact check me if you want, that I'm almost positive this was it. But this is the North Coast Sprig and Rosé. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this one. Yeah, let's do this one the one I couldn't pronounce. So this is the Mendocino Petal Press Rosé of San Giovanni. Yep, that's what it is. Like an elevated pink lemonade. This rosé shows flavors of zesty citrus with ripe strawberry, raspberry, and cherry. Medium light body pairs versatilely with food. It has hints of lemon, lime, raspberry, and peach. I do want to remind you guys as always, um, please, Please, please drink responsibly. Thank you. Shut the front door. Wow. All right, you guys, I don't really wanna look like a thumb while I was doing my sponsor, so I'm going to wipe my makeup off and then prep my skin and I will be right back. I let my skincare soak into my skin for so long and my ice melted. That was a lot of ice. <laughs> okay, well now that we look like we have rosé inspired skin, I think we should get into the makeup portion. For foundation, I'm going to be using my absolute favorite combo as of lately and that is the Pretty Fresh Foundation from ColourPop. It's a hyaluronic hydrating foundation and this is in the shade Light 45W and this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I've used it 20 million, 100 times on my channel. And this is in the shade Light Beige. I just do a pump of each on the back of my hand and that is Plenty. So I'm just gonna apply this with a damp Real Techniques beauty sponge. I miss being tan. If anyone has any recommendations for a really good self tanner, let me know. Whew. Okay. Next, we are going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Light Neutral. I was using light medium, but wow, rude. I feel like it's too dark for me because I'm pale AF. So I'm trying this one out, see how it works. Just going back in with the same exact beauty sponge and I'm going to blend this out. Oh my gosh, this is light. <laughs> oh man. I'll just look pale, it's fine. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade Fair, and I'm going to take this on a M501 brush. And the reason why I've been using a little bit more of a precise brush lately to set my under eye is because of the products that I'll be using next. So I just set under my eyes and then in between my eyes right here. Now, if you did not see my last video, you need to watch my last video because I went over all that you need to know about this product. And I know that this is saying a lot, but this is probably one of my favorites, if not my most favorite product that I've ever used my whole entire life. 
This is the Deco Scarlet Mistake Proof Misting Bronzer, and this is in the shade Illicit. They have a brush that they created to go with this bronzer. That was just one squirt, but literally watch this. If you have not watched my last video, I'm telling you, you have to, because if you are interested in this, then I have like a coupon code and everything. Watch this. Oh, I just really got it in my hair. I just stuck it right, <laughs> right in my hair. Great. Look how beautiful that is. Like, are you kidding me? Let me get this out of my hair. Oh, great. It's not coming off. This is actually very telling as to how good this makeup product is because it looks so beautiful and then it just doesn't go anywhere. It just stays on your freaking face. And then look how easy it is to contour your cheeks. I mean, bronze, contour, whatever. I'm gonna spray a little bit and then pick it up on my beauty sponge. It's so easy. And not only do they have bronzers, but they also make blushes. But I'm not going to be using the blush in today's video. And that is because I have this package here. I ordered this when it first launched. And this is the Lunar Beauty blush palette. And I've never opened it because I've been waiting to open it on camera with you guys because I was gonna do a full dedicated video with this. But then just one thing after the other happened. It's like a whole unboxing video. See, look. I promise. I really haven't opened it yet. I have great self-control, I will say. When I place... <laughs> Gosh. Oh my gosh. When I placed the order for the blush palette, I actually got two of everything. Two of the blush palettes and I got two of the lip bundles. One was supposed to be for one of you guys. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway that I should have did a long time ago. But um, yeah, if you would like to win a Moon Prism blush palette and the Lunar Beauty lip glosses, then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Like this video. Hmm, what should you comment below? Well, you know what? I know what you should comment below, but I'm gonna let you know what you should comment below in just a second. I thought this would be a very fitting video to finally open this because it's like rose, blush, you know, the whole vibe. So yeah, this is the Moon Prism Blush Palette. I don't know if you guys love blush, but I love, love blush. I think I'm going to use Stargaze. I'm gonna take this on an E4 brush. I'm going to apply this, but I'm also going to not really apply it on like the apple of my cheek. What I'm gonna do is you see how this is angled and then you have this little part right here. I'm just gonna take that. I'm going to kind of like bring it up and then across the bridge of my nose. Now I know 1 million trillion bajillion percent this looks crazy, but trust the freaking process, okay? Really quickly before I do anything else, I'm going to contour my nose off camera and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I will be right back. Okay, we are back and I'm going to quickly highlight with the Wet n Wild Hello Halo highlighter and this is in the shade, well the duo shade is called I Met Somebody. That is not what it's called, it's called I Met Someone. <laughs> But I'm gonna use this shade and I'm gonna quickly highlight. I've been trying to highlight before I do blush, but I think I just got excited about the blush and I totally forgot. Okay, the reason why I put so much blush on my face is because I wanted to try to do faux freckles and I think that faux freckles look really cute when you look very like blushed and bronzed. So that is why I did that. I'm going to try to use my brow pomade. This is the Maybelline in Deep Brown. And I'm also gonna sharpen this e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner because this is like a little bit more warm tone and I feel like freckles are always like a little bit more on the warmer tone. But I'm just gonna do a combination of the pomade and then this brow pencil and then this lip liner and I'm gonna see what I can do. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, okay? So if it looks like crap, whatever, I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. 
a lot of work to do. Now that we have our freckles on, I'm going to start with the eye makeup. And I actually just picked up this ColourPop Blush Crush Palette. How cute is this? I just thought it was, you know, once again, blush, blush. But this is what it looks like. I'm going to start off with the shade Cheek to Cheek, and I'm going to pick this up on a MAC 286 brush. And I am just going to put this in my transition. And I know I always, always tell you guys this, but I just go back and forth in windshield wiper motions and I never pick my brush up. And then I will go in circles and then I will scratch the edges. So next on an M433 brush, I'm going to dip into the shade How Rouge. And I'm just going to build up the outer V with this shade, so I'm basically just going to keep it in the outer third of my eye and then bring it more up into my crease this way. So first, just kind of packing the color on where I want it to go. And then once I have that color packed on, I'm just going to go in little circular motions and blend it out. And even though I feel like this eye look would be flattering on every single eye color, if you have green eyes, this eye look is going to be extra flattering on you in particular. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade, shut the frick up. Guess what this shade is called? <laughs> this shade is called Blush Wine. How fitting. This shade is so pretty, it's like a burgundy, but it has these like goldish silver reflex in it. So, what I need you to comment below is the following. So I wanna start a new series on my channel and I don't know when I'm gonna start it or when the first like episode is going to be per se, but I wanna do more like relaxed, talk through like story time type videos. I remember getting the idea a few months ago and I actually saw somebody comment that I should do Wind Down Wednesdays and I really like that idea, but the thing about me is I kind of, sort of, maybe, possibly, definitely, 100% have commitment issues. And I do think Wind Down Wednesday is very cute, don't get me wrong, but the whole like uploading on Wednesday thing is what freaks me out because I'm like, okay, I, I definitely need more structure and I definitely need more of a schedule, but if I run a day late or if something happens, it's like, okay, obviously I can't post Wine Down Wednesday on Thursday. Or maybe that's kind of like on brand for me, so maybe it'll work. Anyway, my question to you is, if I was to do a series that's more chill, just kind of like story time, kind of just like discussing a topic, Eggable, I want you guys to tell me what I should name it. I was thinking maybe like Wine Down Wednesday or Tipsy Talks or... um. Yeah, those are the only two that I have in mind. Not wind down Wednesday, but wine. Like, I would drink wine and talk to you guys. But not only that, I want suggestions of topics you guys would want me to talk about. I want to do story times, obviously. But it's kind of hard when someone's like, okay, tell a story time. And I'm like, well, about what? I, have, I feel like I have so many stories. Like, what do you want to know? Do you want to know about... Uh, Vegas, do you want to know about me growing up? Do you want to know about my parents? Do you want to know about my exes? Do you want to know about, like, what do you want to know? I don't know. But I feel like if you guys gave me a topic, I would be able to kind of be like, oh, okay, I can relate to that because of like this story. A lot of my friends will call me up and ask me for advice and when they're telling me what's going on in their life, I'm like, oh, okay, so this one time, like this happened, like this, and this is how I did this. So like I end up having a story that's relatable to them. So that's kind of what I want to do with you guys. But I was also thinking like maybe it would be fun for you guys to write in little story times about things that have happened to you. And then I would read them and then we would kind of like all laugh together. And then I would tell like a crazy story relating to what you guys wrote into me. I want it to be more interactive. I don't want it to be all about me. I thought like another thing we could do is kind of just like an advice column, like a Dear Abby, but not. So you would write into me and ask me for advice or ask me for some type of, I don't know, like 
guidance maybe and I'm not saying I'm like the end-all be-all of like I know everything but I do feel like I have a good way of giving advice Maybe I don't always take my own advice. I feel like that's definitely um, one of my worst traits about myself. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I asked you guys on my Instagram today. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I feel like I talk to people the most on Instagram. That's definitely where I'm gonna start asking for people to write in to me or for different topics or whatever. So follow me on Instagram, but yes. If you want to win the giveaway, then comment below just either what you think I should call it or maybe a topic that you would like me to go over. Leave me some comments below. Those are the official rules of the giveaway. So if you want to enter the giveaway, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bells because I'm all over the place with my uploading schedule and you need to turn on the bell, okay? Because I think only something like 15% of my subscribers have the bell turned on. That's freaking rude. But anyway, next on a MAC 242 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Blossom Up. And I'm going to place this shade on the middle part of my eyelid. And I'm not going to take it all the way in because I'm going to put a different shade on the inner inner corner. But I'm basically just putting this on the center. And then on the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to go into the shade Pop a Bottle. Spray my brush with... Some setting spray. I kind of have a feeling this shade is going to thrive a little better if it's applied with a finger. Let's try that out. Okay, to finish up the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with Blush Wine on this little teeny M515 brush. And I'm just gonna put this on the outer third of my eye, connecting it from the outside right here and bringing it down. And then taking this Zoeva Petite Crease Brush, this brush is so old that the number is completely worn off, but I'm going to go into How Rouge and Cheek to Cheek, and I'm just gonna smoke this out. And then once we have that all smoked out, I'm just gonna hop right back into this Hello Halo highlighter. I'm going to put that on that little baby pencil brush again, and I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm also just gonna highlight my brow bone. I know that looks crazy. I'm gonna blend it out. Honestly though, how many times in my videos do I do something crazy and you're like, holy crap, that looks like actual shit. And then it ends up looking like not half bad afterwards. <laughs> okay, now that the eyeshadow is all complete, I'm going to hop off camera and I'm gonna do my liner and my lashes and then I will be right back. Okay, so this is the eye makeup all complete, and just in case you were wondering, I used the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner in black, I think it's just called black, and then I used the Lily Lashes in the style Ella. So all that is left to do is lips, and then we are all done. I'm gonna use this lip liner from e.l.f., it's the Retro Paradise Line and Shine Lip Kit. Oh my god, what? is wrong with me how did i even do that mm, kind of just looks like a freckle i'm gonna overline my lips and then once i line my lips i'm just gonna gently shade them in a little bit and then i'm just gonna hop into these lunar beauty glosses and see which one i like I think I'm gonna go in with Moon. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. And then I think just to add like a little bit more of that pinky purpley tone, I'm gonna go in with, what is this called? Starlight. Well, this is my rosé or blush inspired makeup look. I know that it's not like super pink, you know, if you look at rosé wine. It's definitely not like rosé colored per se, but this is just my take on it because pink is kind of hard. It can look really pretty on some people, but I also think that if you do it the wrong way, you can look 
kind of sickly so I wanted to do some pink but I wanted to put in some purple as well because I feel like something like this is going to be way more flattering on a wide range of skin tones and whenever I do a makeup look I definitely keep everybody in mind don't forget in the comments below to leave me name suggestions and topic suggestions for my new series that I want to do I need your help I trust you guys with my life so let me know. Also, I want to give the biggest thank you in the whole entire world to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video and supporting me so much. I've done so many partnerships with them thus far and I love them and I love their company and I love working with them. I work with like the most amazing ladies ever. I feel like I'm the luckiest person in the whole entire world that a wine company sponsors me and then I just get to like chill and drink wine and do makeup and talk to you guys and they are just so pleasant to work with and I genuinely like love talking to the ladies on the team. I work with a girl named Yem and Danielle and I, I just love working with them. They're just the best so thank you guys so much for being awesome and thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and don't forget if you want to try bright sellers for yourself i'm going to leave a link in the description box and if you click the link you can start taking your seven question quiz and then you will receive 50 percent off of your first six bottle box as always thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i love you guys so much you have no freaking idea and hopefully i will see you in the next video